telling you, food on a stick could be so tasty. If you love flavour, you're going to love putting this on your skewers. If these aren't on your barbecue this weekend, why are you even following me? Oh. Let's get into it. Today, we're going to be grilling Asian street style food. In fact, it's called Xinjiang lamb skewers. Now cooking time for this recipe is less than 10 minutes. Or for those of you who love to follow my beer timer, you're looking at a one beer cook. Cheers. And if you do like this, don't forget, like it, share it with your mates. And if you like what I'm producing, subscribe to the channel. To make authentic Xinjiang lamb skewers, we're going to need a mix of lean meat and some fat. And I'm using a mixture of half a kilogram of backstrap and around 200 grams of belly fat that I picked up from Mick, the master butcher, out of Gippsland Premium Meats. Now to prep the lamb backstrap, I generally like to cube it up into roughly two centimetre cubes. And I find it's easy enough just to slice them in half and then cube them up this way. And you will find lamb backstrap does have a silver skin on it. I'm lucky enough, my butcher took it off for me. So once the lamb is all diced up, we can now dice up our lamb belly fat. And I just like to slice it down into two centimetre, roughly two centimetre strips, and then start cubing them up as well. And you only need a thin piece. So these thicker pieces, slice them in half to create two thinner pieces. Now just threading these onto wooden skewers, one piece of meat and then one piece of fat. And just keep alternating that and try and make all the skewers roughly about the same size. And that way they will all cook evenly or at least finish up at the same time. And once they're all done, lay all the skewers into a container so they can lay flat. Now that may seem like a lot of fat, but during the grilling process, that fat will crisp up, shrink, and render out. And its main job is gonna help keeping that meat succulent and moist. Smack! As the lamb fat renders out and it starts dripping down onto those hot coals, it's gonna start flavoring that meat as that smoke from the rendered fat comes up to lick those skewers. We can now start making a marinade for our Xinjiang lamb skewers. So into a bowl, you're gonna wanna add two tablespoons of peanut oil, two tablespoons of light soy sauce, two teaspoons of cornstarch, two teaspoons of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter of a teaspoon of Sichuan peppercorn powder. Mix this up really good and then baste this over the skewers. Don't forget to flip them over and baste the other side. Next up, we need an onion. Thinly slice it and put the onion over the top. The onion will not only add some flavor to the meat, it's also gonna tenderize it. We just need to now put this aside for an hour at room temp. Today, I'm gonna to be using my Weber Go Anywhere because I wanna be grilling over direct heat. I'll start off by removing the lid because we don't need that today. And we may as well remove the grill. We will need that later though. I'll carefully put the grill back in place. Oops, wrong grill, didn't need it. Falls a habit. I'll open up the bottom vents. This will allow as much airflow to our fuel as possible. I'll then half fill the chimney starter up with lump charcoal. Then light up a couple of fire lighters and then put the chimney on top of that. Then once it's ashed over, you wanna dump that into the GA. And using an old pair of tongs, you wanna keep the majority of the charcoal up one end because we wanna create a hot zone and a cooler zone. You can put the proper grill in now. So after 10 minutes, that grill has gonna be super hot and all the pores in the metal have opened up. So by giving it a quick oil, we are going to create a non-stick cooking surface. Grilling directly over charcoal is what gives these skewers that authentic flavour. Well, that and drinking icy cold beer while grilling them. Cheers. 
To make the Xinjiang lamb skewers have that authentic flavour, we also need to dust them with some seasoning while grilling them. So into an old rub shaker, I'll add two teaspoons of cumin and a quarter teaspoon of our Sichuan pepper corn powder. And if you can't handle the heat, just use the cumin powder without the pepper. We can now get the skewers on, getting them out of the marinade, and we're just gonna place them over the hottest part of the grill. And we're gonna start turning them around every minute. And once they start to char up and get some color on them, we can move them over to the cooler part of the grill. We can season these with generous amounts of the cumin and chili. Don't forget, turn them over and get all sides. And you're just gonna be turning these a few more times until that meat is perfectly cooked. The spice, heat, and smokiness all add to that authentic flavor needed to create this Asian-style street food. Well, that and drinking icy cold beer while eating them, cheers. Since the lamb pieces are so small, once you have good charring on the outside, you can be guaranteed they are perfectly cooked. Look at the color of these. If you aren't trying to eat your screen, you clearly don't like tasty food. Now just get them off the heat and we're gonna let them cool down for a minute or two before we shove them in our face hole. 